In this video, I'm going to be talking about whether SSRIs, or antidepressants, have an impact on our ability to spiritually connect, and in particular, our psychic abilities or our capacity to receive spirit messages. This is a cool video, so definitely stay tuned. Everybody, it's Crystal Ann Compton. Welcome to this video and welcome to my channel, especially if you're new and you're just checking me out or just watching one of my videos. I would love if you would connect by subscribing and even hitting on that little bell icon and being notified when I put out new videos because Spirit has told me that we are in for kind of a dynamic ride in 2017. We are on the cusp, so many of us, of truly getting to the next level of our enlightenment, the next level of our journey. But there are things that we need to do and in specific, these things revolve around vibration. So we're going to be talking about that all year and I'd love if we could do that together. Now, before I get into this video about SSRIs, I must obviously say that I am not a doctor. Never was, never will be. And so I'm not making any medical recommendations in this video. You have to take control of your own body, mind, and spirit. You have to take control of your vibration. Because once again, vibration is the key to the reality in which you live. And the truth is that some medications that we take into the systems do in fact affect our vibration. And some of those medications, in my opinion, as someone who's not a doctor, are SSRIs. And here is an area where I can speak from experience because you know, some of you know I've come out of a childhood of trauma and when you have a childhood of trauma that kind of puts you in a permanent fight or flight state of mind and things get wonky and you can get sick and so of course I sought treatment over the years and things like therapeutics and analysis and at various times it was recommended to me that I get onto an SSRI or an antidepressant. And so the first SSRI that I got onto way back in the day was Paxil, P-A-X-I-L, which I also call devil, <laughs> bad, bad for crystal drug. I think in about a one, maybe 10 months, maybe one year, I gained about 60 pounds on Paxil. Like I totally, the vibration of the physical form absolutely changed. But I also was the most zombified, the most checked out, the most low vibration on that particular medication. And I don't know if they still prescribe that. I don't know if you're on that, but for me, absolutely it affected my vibration and my ability to perceive things in a present way. Now, after I gained all of that weight, I was like, doctor, this is a huge drag and stuff. And so my doctor shifted me off of Paxil and onto Zoloft or Sertraline. And that wasn't as bad as Paxil, although it still affected my weight. Um, but I was still feeling checked out. I was still not connecting on a heart level with so many different things, even with my family or even with the things that I had historically loved to do. I felt an absence of that passion. And what I'm speaking of here is an absence of a high vibration. And so for me, at some point, I'm like, this is bunk and I don't want to live this way and I would rather find other ways to cope with my issues than be medicated. Now, I'll say that acknowledging that I didn't have clinical depression, I didn't have um, any kind of mental issue like bipolar or personality, like I didn't have any of those things. I just had the residual energetic effects of a lifetime of trauma. And so for me, it was possible that I found other ways to manage and to cope and to work through my issues so that I didn't really need those medications. The only reason I'm making this video is because I get a lot of questions about it. I teach people how to connect to spirit. I teach people how to receive spirit messages. And of course, my students are always asking me, what can I do to remove blocks and to remove obstacles? 
and we talk about all sorts of things and some of them do ask about medication. Some of them in specific ask about SSRIs. In my opinion as an intuitive, in my opinion as somebody who can see the energy of another person, and in my opinion as somebody who's been on SSRIs, some of them, yes, can change your vibration, can change your ability to perceive, can change how you interact in life. All of them, Does it, do all SSRIs do that? I have no idea. Some of them absolutely do. And if you're on an SSRI, then you really want to take stock and be aware, like be conscious, be checking yourself out, be observing how you think, how you feel. Is your heart connected? Are you feeling the passion? Are you feeling the drive? Are you thriving? Are you vibrant or has that gone away? Because if it has, then your vibration has been modified and you might want to do something about that.